Good morning dear students I am your EVS teacher Miss Kajal Kamra I hope you all are well and fine at home so today I'll be teaching you chapter number 4 of EVS the topic is animals and their characteristic so let's start ears ears help us to hear sound in some animals the ears can be seen but in some animals we cannot see the ears Let us take the example of a bird. Have you seen a bird ears? Look at the image of a bird. We cannot see a bird's ear. It has tiny holes on both sides of its head. These ear holes helps the bird to hear. Similarly, let us take the example of a crocodile. A crocodile also has ears, but we cannot see them easily. Now, let us discuss about the animals that have ears. So you can also see in the pictures the animals that have ears are rabbit, horse, and elephant. Now let us discuss about the skin of animals. The bodies of birds and animals are covered with skin. Why? Because skin helps them to feel heat, cold, and pain. The skin of animal is also covered with fur and hair. One of the reasons why all animals look different is that they have different patterns and textures of hair on their skin. We can recognize animals by their skin. As in the picture, you can see that the different animal's skin has been depicted. The first picture shows the skin of a leopard and next to it is the skin of a sheep. and then the third picture shows the skin of a tiger and the last picture depicts the skin of zebra that is we can say black and white strips on the zebra's body let us discuss about another characteristic that is tongue tongue help us to taste food and speak we have taste buds on our tongue which help us differentiate between the four basic tastes that is sweet sour salty and bitter as you can see in the picture also the four basic tastes are being depicted animals and birds also have a tongue for example you can see in the picture the frog has a long sticky tongue that is uses to catch insects with understood students it is said that smile increases the face value the pearly white teeth in a mouth make a smile beautiful our teeth are the hardest parts of our body teeth help us to chew our food easily so students there are basically two sets of teeth one is the deciduous teeth and one is the permanent teeth so let me explain you about the deciduous teeth deciduous teeth they appear and fall very early in life they are also known as the baby teeth or the milk teeth now the deciduous teeth are being replaced by the permanent teeth the permanent teeth start appearing when the deciduous teeth start falling these teeth do not grow back so students different animals also have different teeth as per as their feeding habits so let us discuss about them So first let us talk about the teeth of herbivorous Herbivorous have sharp teeth which are known as incisors in the front to cut grass and leaves Carnivores have strong grinding teeth to chew the flesh and the bones of the animals they eat And next we talk about the omnivores that have teeth for cutting the cutting teeth are known as the incisors tearing flesh are known as the canines and chewing or grinding their food are known as the molars and the premolars Carnivores an organism that only eat animals 
herbivore an organism that eat only plants omnivores an organism that eat both plants and animals i hope you all have understood now we come to the topic eyes as human beings have eyes of different shapes sizes and colors different animals also have different types of eyes let us see the animals that have different types of eyes as you can see in the picture the horse has eyes on the sides of his head and therefore its vision is split and you can also see the picture of a bat bats as we all know they can see only at night as they are blind during the day now next we talk about the nose we all are aware of the elephant's nose it's so big that it is a trunk elephant use their trunk not only to smell but also to lift their food and put into their mouth as you can see the picture of an elephant lifting its trunk now let us talk about the special features of birds we have already discussed that a bird's body is covered with feathers birds have different beaks and claws as per their eating habits the shape of the beak depends on the type of food they eat beak helps the bird to eat food catch prey and change direction while they fly next we talk about the bird's nest how the birds build their nest birds build their nest with the help of straw grass twigs and feathers they lay their eggs in the nest they sit on the eggs to keep them warm and thus guard the eggs now we are going to discuss about some of the birds nest as we can see in the picture the first nest is a tailor's bird nest the little bird stitches together leaves to make its nest and the next one is a woodpecker's nest it often find a small hole in a tree trunk and enlarges it by packing it with its beak I hope students all must have understood this chapter with the help of this video. Thank you and do take a very good care of yourself.